Hey guys, what up? Spiritmonk187 here. Welcome back for a new match of Shadow Era. Where we are playing Path Swift Hands. And yeah, I just built this deck. I showed you a match before and I really like this deck. Yesterday I was playing on my iPad and I totally kicked ass to a Zelda deck. So that was pretty cool. Um, let's see what we're going to drop here. Let's drop a Blood Frenzy and play this Yari. So yeah, I really like this deck, the way it plays and the way I lock some of the opposing heroes with the card that his ally has sustained one shadow energy in combination with a crippling blow. For some heroes it's... yeah, for their shadow energy at least it's game over. <laughs> Let's just see what's going to happen in this game. Let's just hope we're getting another win out of this. Okay, so that's a pretty nice ability. He's playing a hunter, so probably he's going to play lots of weapons. Uh, oh, that's a very nice card, Hunter's Gambit. Mm, what are we going to get rid of? I think this crippling blow here. And I'm just going for the Blood Frenzy here. And we'll just kick his ass for two. And we'll just end turn. So yeah, I'm still at low rating, as you can see I'm playing against a guy with a 80 card deck. And I do think the bigger decks now more or less than a better chance against the uh, opponent. But not with like 80 cards, that's a little bit too much. I would say uh, 60, 60 max or something like that. Mm, let's get rid of this Yari. And my allies have minus one attack. That sucks a little bit, but let's just use his ability to do what? To pump him, to pump him up, and to we'll give him another plus one, and we'll just use our ability to cast this one on him. And kick his ass. Draw a card. But mm, they are both going to die next turn. So that sucks a little bit much. That sucks a lot. I was not paying attention here. But let's see how we're going to fight ourselves out out of this one. At least if we still can. Uh, but why don't he receive two damage? Because he's disabled and oh yeah, poisoned. No, of course. I'm just babbling. And uh, let's get rid of this smashing blow. We'll just play this morbid acolyte and we'll cripple him. <laughs> so this will be okay. I think. Yeah, this will be okay. We're still not done yet. But yeah, I really love the fast swift hands and the practice deck. And yeah, sometimes with this deck and also the Praxis, the new uh, elemental, um, sometimes you win or you lose. And of course, almost always you win or lose, except uh, unless you're playing a mage or something and double KO uh, with a supernova or something. But most of the times it's like, uh, and what I mean with uh, win or lose, um, it's like you draw a card, uh, you draw a hand with uh, too many attachments. So, yeah, just in turn three you drop your ally, and sometimes I, I take a big risk by dropping like two attachment on it, <laughs> or just one on my ally and a crippling blow on my opponent, so I have no card in my hand left and when I don't have a blood frenzy attached to the fast it's going to be uh, yeah, a big risk sometimes because you have all your fate in one ally and with the Praxis deck that I, I have noticed that um, I'm not playing a milling Praxis deck but uh, a Praxis deck that uh, has advantage from discard 
discard abilities. Sometimes I use abilities like the uh, the artifact that say discard a card from your uh, library and then draw a card. And then I discard a card that I wanted to draw and the card that I draw had a, had a discard effect. So that, yeah, this just sucks and I know it's bad luck but it really sucks. Let's just give him that ability and this is the little combo that I've meant uh, earlier in the game. Crippling blow so he can do nothing and Curse of the Aldemar. So yeah, now he can still activate his ability one more time but after that it will be nasty for him. Oh yeah, he had the... Uh, okay. Well, let's just keep this one in our hand, just for sure, because he can still use his ability one more time, and I don't want him to get poisoned as well. <coughs> so let's see. Well, it's, it's still a tough fight, you know, you would say, like, I would easily dealt with, but I finished on top, like, top, like, Saladar decks. I don't know if they were good players, but they had all the right cards in it, 40 card deck. And yeah, they drew, I, I always think when I'm playing against a Zelda deck, they always draw the card they need right on time. You just, you should just uh, pay attention to that, just just try to remember that when you play against a Zelda deck. Let's say you have no cards in the deck and you have the advantage, you also have no, uh, he has no cards in his hand. You have no cards in your hand. And... Um, he's drawing a mind control right on time or something like that. That's just nasty. Uh, this spider is also pretty nice. And uh, that's just Antisternia. I've won so many games by this guy just gaining like 5 attack or something. It became a 5-5 five, five ally and it would destroy any ally with the cost lower than 5. Because sometimes you're really stacking up this, uh, this shadow energy here. So you can use his ability many times without gaining any disadvantage from uh, the ability that you really want to use. Because yeah, in the mid late game you have enough resources to cast an attachment. Let's just see what we've thrown there. Let's get rid of this one. And this one has 5 defense. 2, 3, 4. We could, we could take him down. I could even do it more easily. This is 3. Use his ability to make it 5. He has 5 defense. So let's just hit him in the face. 5. Down. And... Use his ability on him. And smack him for 3. And for two more. That's it, 19 life points for him. And he's going to draw some cards soon, so. And I don't play any weapons in this deck. But that's the first time, I think, yeah, this is the first time I'm playing a warrior without any weapons. Most of the warrior decks use weapons. Ah, there comes a Soul Seeker. Yeah, it's a pretty nice card for him to draw. But we can destroy it next turn. He's going to draw some cards, gain some life. That sucks as always. Well, let's just keep this in hand. You never know when we're going to need it. And I really hate it that this drag and drop doesn't work like it did before. Let's destroy that one. Put out another Yari. And we'll just hit him in the face. For some more. And we'll just use this ability to boost him up this one a little bit. Because we can make some advantage out of this, uh, this ability. Uh, should I? Yeah, maybe I made a little bit mistake there um, with a, with not pumping up one of my allies. This card as well, Gold Laser Shield. I think it's a pretty, a very good card. I haven't seen anyone play this yet, but 
Yeah, it gives an ally plus two attack. And Shadow Era is all about gaining board control. So when you're dropping a turn three ally, your opponent is also dropping a turn three ally. At least if you start the game. So when you drop this and turn three allies most of the time doesn't deal four damage. And most of the turn three allies have uh, have like four health. So yeah, if you drop the gold laser shield turn four, if you destroy that ally and uh, he has a little bit of a problem there. So we have two grave mongers here. It's pretty nice. Let's just It up a little bit. As you can see, here, it's already now has six, six uh, attack. We could make it nine. So that's pretty sick. Okay, he damages the to itself. Well, he would die anyways. That's time to get out some grave mongers. Eat some of the smashing blows, and we'll just end turn there. So as you can see, he's not. Yeah, he's gaining shadow energy, but at the end of the turn, he's losing it. So that's pretty nice. And I haven't tried it out in any other decks, but you really need a card like Crippling Blow that uh, he can't uh, attack with his ally anymore. And then with this uh, Curse of the Eldermore, yeah, you just disable his hero. Well, there comes an arrow. Perfect shot in his face. Well, he stays alive. So let's do first things first. Let's just disable him. Let's pump up. Great mother. Why didn't he get plus two attack? I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe because the last time you use it you can't use it or something. Because it destroys itself or something. Whatever. Never had that situation before. Mm. And let's drop out another Grave Manga. And let's eat that gold laser shield. Get rid of it. And let's just enter in there. Well, that was that. There's no point of continuing this game. And yeah, I really like this fast swift hand, and you will see some more videos of it. Unless you want to see something else. But if you want to see something else, put it in the comments below. Otherwise, see you next time. Cheers!